Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide have spent the last decade and a half dominating college football and have went on arguably the greatest run of success in the history of the sport. And I recreated the Alabama defense for you to use in Madden 23. It will consist of insane blitz packages to crank up the heat and help you rack up an insane amount of sacks. It will have the most in-depth, comprehensive coverage defense that you will find in all of Madden. We will be pulling real info from how Saban sets up his coverages to give you the best pass defense possible and we will break down multiple formations and looks to make sure you can react to anything your opponent throws your way while still staying true to the principles that have allowed Nick Saban to become the greatest coach in college football history. When Alabama hired Saban in 2008, they were mired in mediocrity. Having a record just over 500 over the four previous seasons, Saban was coming into a situation that was far from ideal. This was no longer the legendary Alabama Bear Bryant from the 60s and 70s. This was going to have to be a total rebuild. But Saban was immediately able to flip the program around. By his second season at Alabama, they were able to reach a Sugar Bowl. And by Saban's third season, he was able to bring home his first national championship to Tuscaloosa. Now, over the next decade plus, the Tide were able to capture five more national championships. But what makes Saban's run even more incredible was his defensive evolution over the years. During his first seven or eight seasons, they were able to use his classic 3-4 defense full of huge, strong defenders to absolutely bully the under center offenses that were so prevalent in college football at the time. But around 2014, it all started to change with college offenses becoming much more spread and hurry up. And at this point, Nick had to evolve. He shifted to more 40 fronts while subbing out a linebacker for a nickelback. This gave Saban's defense the ability to match up with the speed of the modern game and adapt to the new ways that college football was being played. Instead of straight up size and power defensively, he transitioned to much more speed and complex coverage looks on the back end to give him answers to all the new wrinkles that offenses threw Alabama's way. Now, though his defenses statistically have taken a step back over the past few years, when you compare them to the rest of college football, they are still one of the most dominant units in the sport. If you look at something like FEI ratings, which can look at each college football defense each year and works to compare how effective each one would be on a neutral field against an average opponent, the Tide under Saban over the last 13 years have finished in the top six of this rating an incredible 10 times while finishing with the number one defense in the country with this rating five different times. Now, there are some main principles Saban has used defensively over the years to dominate with, and we are going to be implementing a ton of them, but just adapting them to fit our needs for Madden. First is the utilization of a heavy match coverage defensive scheme. Saban is one of the godfathers of match defenses and uses an insane variety of them to make sure he has answers against anything the defense throws his way. In my opinion, this is the best way to play coverage in Madden 23. You're going to have the ability to take away a ton of routes that are super hard to take away, like those deep corner routes down the field, and you can just really limit deep passing concepts without having to play zone drops. And these cover four defenses are some of the best run defenses in the game, so you are going to be super solid there as well. Now, I will be doing a full cover four quarters, cover four palms, and cover three match defensive breakdown, showing you exactly how each one works and when to use them. I may also include cover nine and cover six if you guys do want me to cover those as well. Next is playing two high defenses that all look identical pre-snap. Now, the power of playing too high is it opens up your arsenal of coverages that you can go to, whereas if you play single high, then you are really limited to cover one or cover three defenses. Playing too high also allows us to disguise our coverage. This is going to give the offense no idea what coverage we are in or if we are bringing heat or dropping out. This is also going to lead to a ton of sacks when they think we are playing coverage and they send everybody out on routes. And it's going to lead to QB confusion where he misreads the coverage, tricking him into throwing routes that aren't open and we are going to make a ton of plays. Next, we have multiple blitz packages we will be bringing to the table, whether it is out of our 3-4 looks with more edge heat coming from our two outside linebackers or in our nickel sets where we are going to get pressure off the edge and we're going to get looping pressure from our linebackers. 
attackers at the second level. Then Sabin is a master of the details and he wants an answer for everything his opponent will send his way. And this is a goal for my scheme also. I will give you specific defenses to stop heavy running offenses, modern spread passing looks, and specifically design match defenses for each of the meta offenses like all the tight formations, gun bunch, and trips tight end. Now a ton of this Sabin defense is going to be found for free on YouTube. But for the next level stuff, you're going to have to check out my website, Scheme Kings. As we go along in this scheme, there will be a ton more videos going up on the site for this Bama Saban defense. But then up to date is the first two blitzes out of our nickel sets that are going to get you an insane amount of pressure in at the QB and rack up a ton of sacks. Now the blitzes are live right now on the site for you to watch. So if you want to check out Scheme Kings, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. Now for this whole defense, we are going to be running out of the Las Vegas Raiders playbook and we will be primarily running out of two formations with the first being 3-4 off. Now this is where it all started for Saban and in his first six to seven years at Bama, this is what they based everything out of and this will be our answer for whenever we face someone trying to play bigger and heavier up front with multiple tight ends and running backs. Now in the middle of your defense, you want a big heavy nose tackle and at this spot, I have Haloti Nada. He needs to be able to eat up blocks and set the tone on the inside. Run stuffing ability and size are the main attributes we are after. And then I have inside stuff as an ability on this player. This is going to allow him to blow up runs in the backfield an absolute ton. Then we have our three, four defensive ends. Here we want balanced players. At these two spots, I am using Grady Jarrett and Emmanuel Ogba, but they need to be on the heavier side. They are playing on the interior, so they need to be able to hold their own in the run game. But then also if we are rushing four, they also need some pass rushing ability to push the pocket and get pressure. Then we have our three, four outside linebackers. Now at these two spots, I have Lawrence Taylor and Shaq Barrett. And number one here, we want speed off the edge. These guys will be getting an absolute ton of free runs in at the QB. So the faster they can get off the ball and into the backfield, be better. But having good pass rush stats for we are just rushing for, they do need to get pressure. So that is going to be big as well. Then they also will be dropping out into coverage a decent amount. So some coverage skills will help, but that is just a bonus overall. Then on LT, I also have edge threat. This is going to help him get dominant wins when rushing on the outside and makes him an absolute terror to try to block one-on-one. -on -one. Then at our two inside backers, at these two spots, we have Zayvon Collins and Micah Parsons. These two will be your main users when in 3-4 odds. So we want the range and speed to help in coverage and make plays in the pass game, but they also will be coming free on blitzes. So closing speed to help them fire into the backfield and make plays is huge. Next, we are moving to big nickel over G and this will be our go-to nickel formation and our answer against more modern spread passing offenses. Now along the D line at your two defensive ends, you want your two best pass rushers. So right here, I have Micah Parsons and then LT. Then on your inside, you want your nose tackle. So I have Haloti Nada. And then you want to move your best three, four defensive end into the other D tackle spot. Then going to our linebackers. And this is where we're actually going to sub out our linebackers for safeties. And at these spots, we have Grant Delpit and Ronnie Law. These are going to be coverage players built to stop the modern passing attack. So we aren't as worried about run stuffing. We need speed to get around the field and make plays in coverage. Then these players also are going to be looping into the backfield on blitzes a ton. So closing speed is massive. Then another huge role in Saban's D is the star position. And at this spot, I'm using Legereus Sneed. This is his name for the nickel back. And here we want a ton of speed. This player will be in coverage a lot, but then he is also going to be coming on an absolute ton of blitzes. So as much speed as possible here will be absolutely crucial. You want to give the QB as little time as possible when we are bringing the heat. For our four outside secondary players, they will be on the field at all times. So for our two outside corners, I have Lester Hayes and Sidney Jones. Then for our two safeties, I have Steve Atwater and Javion Holland. And at these two safety spots, I have two mid zone KOs. This is a great ability at forcing extra knockouts all over the middle of the field. And it is great for match coverage when we meet receivers at the catch point, you will force a ton of knockouts. These will be our four main match coverage players as well. So making sure they are as good in coverage as possible is huge. And they will always be in coverage. So speed and coverage abilities are our main focus here. I also put a ton of premium on size where I can with these four to try to win the jump balls that are taking over in Madden 23. This is going to be one of the best, most complete defenses you will ever see in Madden. It is going to allow you to lock up your opponent in coverage and get an insane amount of pressure in at the QB. But defense is only half the battle. To win games, you 
have to have an explosive offense and I have the perfect option for you. With my ultimate mobile QB offense where I break down six of the best mobile quarterbacks ever and how you can use them in Madden 23. So if you want to check that out, you need to watch this video right here.